When I first got the Panasonic microwave, the thing that immediately stood out to me was how sleek it looked. It's made of stainless steel, which gives it a modern feel, but it's not too flashy. It fits in with other kitchen appliances easily. I think the design is simple and functional, which is important. It doesn't scream for attention, but it also doesn't look outdated. One thing that I appreciated right away is that, even though the microwave is quite spacious inside, 2.2 cubic feet, it doesn't take up too much room on the countertop. I live in an apartment, so counter space is a big deal. The microwave has a thinner design, which helps it fit better in smaller kitchens while still giving you enough room inside for larger dishes. The turntable inside is 16.5 inches, which is pretty large, so you can easily fit bigger plates or casserole dishes. This is a major plus because I've had microwaves in the past where you had to shift things around just to make them fit. Another thing I noticed is the control panel. It's an LED display with a touchpad, and it's fairly easy to navigate. There are 20 preset menu options, which we'll get into later, but overall, the controls are clear. The only downside, in my opinion, is that the buttons could be more responsive. Sometimes I need to press a bit harder to get the settings I want. It's not a huge issue, but it's something I noticed. Installation and setup. Setting up this microwave was pretty easy. Since it's a countertop model, you don't need to do much except take it out of the box and find a spot for it. The microwave is a bit heavy, but that's expected for its size. It's just something to keep in mind if you're planning to move it by yourself. Once I had it on the counter, it was just a matter of plugging it in. The power requirements are pretty standard for a microwave. 120V, 60 Hz, 12.7A, and 1480W. I didn't need any special outlets or anything like that. It's worth mentioning that the microwave also has the option to be built in if you prefer. I kept mine as a countertop model, but if you're looking for something more permanent, it's nice that this option exists. Cooking power and performance. Now on to the most important part, how this microwave works. Panasonic advertises this model as having 1250 watts of power, which is on the higher end for home microwaves. I've noticed the difference in how fast it heats things compared to my old microwave. Simple tasks like reheating leftovers take less time, and food seems to come out more evenly heated. The microwave uses something called cyclonic inverter technology. I wasn't familiar with this before using the microwave, but basically, it's a system that circulates the heat more evenly. Traditional microwaves tend to pulse the heat on and off, but the cyclonic inverter keeps the heat constant. In practice, this means that your food heats more evenly without the cold spots or overcooked edges you might get with other microwaves. I've noticed that with things like soup or pasta, which often end up uneven in older models, the inverter also helps with defrosting. I tend to forget to take things out of the freezer ahead of time, so I rely on the microwave to defrost things quickly. The turbo defrost feature works faster than any microwave I've had in the past. What's even better is that the food doesn't start to cook around the edges while the inside is still frozen. It's a pretty efficient system, especially if you're like me and always forget to defrost things in advance. Genius Sensor Cooking One of the standout features of this microwave is the Genius Sensor. The idea is that the microwave can automatically adjust the power level and cooking time based on the steam that's coming from your food. I've used this feature quite a bit, and for the most part, it works well. It's especially helpful for reheating things like leftovers or making simple meals where you don't want to fuss with specific settings. For example, when I reheat pizza, the microwave somehow knows how to get it just right without turning the crust into a chewy mess. I don't know exactly how it calculates the time, but the results are usually spot on. There are times when I think it could be a bit faster, but I'd rather have it heat more evenly than rush through and end up with uneven spots. There are 20 preset menu items which cover a range of common foods like popcorn, potatoes, vegetables, and even oatmeal. I've tried out a few of these settings, and they work as expected. Popcorn, for instance, comes out pretty much perfect every time. I haven't had any burnt pieces or unpopped kernels. The sensor cooking isn't perfect, though. Sometimes, when I'm cooking something less common, like reheating a homemade casserole, I find that I still need to adjust the time manually. But for most everyday items, the sensor does its job well. Keep warm feature. Another feature I've used more than I expected is the keep warm function. I like to prepare meals in advance sometimes, 
and this microwave lets me keep things like soups or sauces warm without cooking them further. I usually make gravy ahead of time when I'm hosting dinner, and instead of leaving it on the stove to stay warm, I just pop it in the microwave. It's a nice touch, and it works as advertised. The food stays warm without drying out, which is something that happens with my stovetop method. This feature is especially helpful if you're juggling multiple dishes at once and need to keep things warm while you finish up. Cooking from scratch. While I mostly use the microwave for reheating or quick meals, I've also tried cooking a few things from scratch. The microwave does a good job with things like steaming vegetables or cooking fish. The combination of the cyclonic wave and inverter technology shines here. Vegetables come out tender without turning to mush, and fish stays moist without drying out. I don't usually think of microwaves as tools for actual cooking, but this one has changed my mind a bit. One thing I've noticed is that it's great for delicate foods. I've used it to poach eggs and simmer sauces, and both turned out pretty well. The heat is controlled enough that these delicate items don't get overcooked. I still prefer using the stovetop for more involved recipes, but if I'm in a rush or just need to prepare something simple, the microwave does a solid job. Cleaning and maintenance. Cleaning this microwave is fairly straightforward. The stainless steel exterior is easy to wipe down, and the interior doesn't seem to get as messy as quickly as some other microwaves I've had. The turntable is removable, so if there are any spills or splatters, it's easy to take it out and wash it separately. I've found that food doesn't seem to get baked onto the sides as much, which might have something to do with the heating. In any case, it's been pretty low maintenance in terms of cleaning. One thing that could be improved is the touchpad. Since it's a flat surface, it does tend to pick up fingerprints easily. It's not a huge deal, but I find myself wiping it down often just to keep it things I didn't like. While there's a lot to like about the Panasonic, it's not perfect. One minor issue I've had is with the touchpad responsiveness. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes I need to press a bit harder than expected to select a setting. It's not something that affects the overall functionality, but it can be a little annoying when you're trying to set the microwave quickly. Another thing is the sound. The microwave has a fairly loud beep when it finishes cooking. It's not unbearable, but if you're sensitive to noise or use the microwave late at night, it could be a bit bothersome. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be a way to turn off or adjust the volume of the beep. Energy efficiency. One thing I was curious about when I first got this microwave was its energy usage. At 1250 watts, it's a powerful microwave, but I didn't want it to drive up my electricity bill. After a few months of use, I haven't noticed a significant change in energy costs. The inverter technology supposedly helps with energy efficiency by delivering consistent power instead of the on and off cycling of traditional microwaves. While I can't say how much of a difference it's making, it doesn't seem to consume more energy than any other microwave I've used. Final thoughts. Overall, the Panasonic has been a solid addition to my kitchen. It's fast, efficient, and handles everyday tasks like reheating and defrosting really well. The cyclonic inverter technology is a game changer for even heating, and the Genius sensor takes the guesswork out of cooking. While there are a few minor drawbacks, like the touchpad responsiveness and the loud beeping, they're not deal breakers for me. If you're looking for a microwave that can handle everything from reheating leftovers to cooking full meals, I think the Panasonic is a great option. It's versatile, easy to use, and has enough features to make it stand out from other models. Whether you're cooking for yourself or a family, this microwave can handle pretty much anything you throw at it.